skill sets. You know, that's how I approached the working world. I was like, okay, well, I can do this, I can do that. So I need to find income. I need to find jobs and opportunities that help me capitalize on these skill sets. Do you feel like any of your students or do you feel like at some point you were very tentative to step out and say, this is my skill set, this is what I can do, this is what I provide? Um, was, was, what are the, the barriers for that? You know, I think it. I think it really comes down, down to confidence. You know, um, you know, some some individuals seem to get a really nice ramp, you know, headed where they're at, and where there's some gradual steps that that make that, you know, launch into, let's we'll say, professional sector. Uh, I don't say easier, but a little bit more expected. You know, it's a little bit more calculated. There are others where it's just boom, the doors are open and now I'm ready to roll. And so I think it just comes down to confidence because you can always, it's its one thing to just sit and create and do, but, and, and, if, and if it's intended to just be for you and that's fine and it's not meant to be shared outside of that, then that's fine. But if it's something that you want to be pursuing and you want to make a career or whatever i mean it's got to it's got to be recognized it's got to be visible it's got to be experienced and so in those cases that's just that it's those steps of um you know confidence and you know there are definite things that i have plenty of confidence in doing but i still have a lot of apprehension or nerves about when it comes time to do that and yeah. it's it's just it's just being able to manage those things yeah